Hey guys. So, miss you, number one. Um, number two, this video is for Tuesday, March 17th. Um, there are two worksheets uh, posted on the calendar for that date, and hopefully this lesson will be able, will help you be able to, um, to do those. Um, if you didn't understand the letter that I sent out or the bulleted list, um, I am not allowed to collect this work from you. Um, it will not affect your grade at all. However, you are responsible for knowing how to do this stuff when we get to the chapter 13 test. So what you are looking at is the unit circle completely filled out. Um, I did get this lesson across to you, so I'm pretty confident that you have a version of this somewhere um, at home in front of you in your backpack, somewhere like that. All right, so there's two main things that I need to be able to get across to you, okay? First thing, every single one of the locations on the unit circle tells you something about the cosine of the angle and the sine of the angle, all right? The X coordinate is the cosine and the Y coordinate is the sine. And then tangent is just the sine over the cosine, okay? So I'll leave that there again. I'll kind of, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, feel free to, you know, pause the video, write that down, but let me show you some examples. So if I asked you for, let's say, the cosine of five pi over four, you just have to go to this location on your unit circle, the cosine is the X value, you would tell me that the answer is negative rad two over two. All right, let's say I asked for the sine of two pi over three. So you go to two pi over three, the sine is the y value, and you would say, okay, well that's rad three over two. If I asked you for the tangent, right, which is just, it's the y over the x. Let's say I asked you for the tangent of zero degrees. Here's zero degrees, right, this is the location. The y value over the x value would be zero, okay? However, what if I asked you for the tangent at pi over two. So here's pi over two. Tangent is y over x. You can't divide by zero, so that one would be undefined. Okay, so that's one part of the lesson that I needed to get across to you, that cosine is the x coordinate, sine is the y coordinate, and tangent is just y over x. You may have to simplify some complex fractions. You may have to rationalize, um, but the Worksheets are posted, the answer keys are posted too, and I will do an Instagram Live on Wednesday to answer any questions that may pop up. Okay, so now the second part of this. This unit circle accounts for one rotation, right? From zero to two pi, or from zero to 360 degrees. But you can go more than that. You can go around this circle an infinite number of times. So you may have, it's called the wrapping function. Chiki chiki. Okay, let's see if you guys laugh at my joke. Anyway, so let's say that I wanted you to give me the ordered pair for 13 pi over six. Okay, so I'm looking for the X part and I'm looking for the Y part. So I'm looking at my unit circle. I'm not seeing 13 pi over six anywhere, but I do know that if I go all the way around, this is two pi or 12 pi over six. So 12 pi over six plus one more pi over six is hmm, 13 pi over six. So the ordered pair would be rad three over two, one half. Okay, now here's something else that's cool. Remember how when we derived the unit circle and everything went in this direction for positive angles? So you can go in this direction for negative angles. So let's take a look at the circle. What if I said I want the coordinates for negative three pi over four? Negative three pi over four. So just think about this. This direction to here is positive three pi over four. So the same amount of rotation, but in the negative direction puts me here. This is negative three pi over four, or here's the ordered pair, negative red two over two, negative red two over two. So it's possible to go around more than once. In fact, you can go around an infinite number of times. Um, in both the positive direction and in the negative direction. 
Ooh, here's a great question. What do you think the um, ordered pair is for 181 pi? Let me write that down. 181 pi. Okay, 181. Let's start counting. One, two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi, six pi. So you can kind of see that all the odds are over here and all the evens are over here. So 181 pi would have this ordered pair as its answer. All right, hopefully that is enough to get you through those two worksheets that are posted on March 17th. Um, if you have questions, I will see you Wednesday, either morning or afternoon, depending on which period you have me. Um, I hope you're enjoying your little bit of time off and I hope you are all healthy.